Hi everyone, um, my name is Taylor Litt and I'm just really happy that I get to be with you uh, to share some reflections on the chapter, He Can Deal Gently. So this chapter is from, um, or it's around a verse from Hebrews, Hebrews 5 verse 2, which reads as this, He can deal gently with the ignorant and wayward since he himself is beset with weakness. What I love most about this verse or this chapter as it was reflecting on the verse um, is that Jesus' very heart is filled with gentleness and kindness, humility, um, and that it's not just of a choice that Jesus chooses to deal gently with us, but it's like out of his very nature and character to do so. Um, and I was struck by the kind of two different groups that the verse mentions, the ignorant and the wayward, those that are unaware of sin and those that are aware of sin, but kind of choosing to stay away from the Lord and thinking about the ways that I'm both of those basically all the time. Um, or sometimes more of one than the other. Um, this ignorance and living my life as if I don't really need Jesus, <laughs> essentially. Um, or wayward, kind of living my life distant from Jesus because of there's all these different kind of like sins or things that just feel unworthy to bring before the Lord or bring before others. And, um, yeah. And I was even thinking about with ignorance, it's just like there's so many ways that I'm ignorant of my need for Jesus. Um, I'm unaware of my heart and its intentions. I'm unaware of how I've hurt other people. I'm so distracted. I don't I often don't hear the voice of the Spirit, and then there's the reality of the systems of injustice that I'm a part of, that I'm ignorant of, you know? Um, and the beauty is that what we really need is to just come to Jesus and to receive from Him, and that like whether we're ignorant <laughs> or in this place of being wayward, um, like Jesus just is ready to deal with us so ever gently and kindly to us. Um, he understands our weaknesses um, and he's ready and waiting to deal with us gently if we're ready to come to him. Um, and I think even in coming to him, like the ways that I'm ignorant of my sin, Jesus then reveals it, you know, in his kindness. And in the sin that I, I'm aware of, he lets skin of his mercy being greater. Um, and it just, the challenge is coming, I think, as I was reflecting on this chapter, I'm like, man, what does it mean for me to just then keep coming to experience this gentleness of Jesus? And over these last few months, I really felt like I was at my weakest <laughs> and my most limited version of myself. So I had really bad morning sickness for several months where I was throwing up every day, and just having a really hard time keeping food down and feeling really miserable meanwhile like running around campus hosting events and just like trying to pretend like i'm doing okay and just exhausted and i felt like i wasn't a good enough staff worker i felt like i wasn't a good enough roommate i felt like i wasn't a good enough wife and just not only feeling limited physically but feeling limited like emotionally spiritually just like a lack of compassion a lack of patience just because I felt so sick and um, and I felt like even prayer this coming to Jesus felt challenging sometimes because I'd sit there and then I'd be so kind of self-absorbed with how awful I felt um, and just made it hard even to kind of pray in some ways but one of my most powerful moments of sitting with Jesus in morning sickness was when I was sitting with my spiritual director and we were doing some listening prayer and um, just had kind of an image of Jesus sitting right next to me in the silence and inviting me to just lay my head on his shoulder and um, I didn't have to bring anything or be anything or do anything um, but Jesus wanted to be there um, to be there to deal with me gently and prayer could be sitting there just with Jesus, <laughs> him dealing with me in the way that he only knows how in his character, which is to do so with gentleness and kindness and mercy. I like in the chapter um, how it talked about not um, having this um, grace, dispensing grace to us from on high, but that Jesus gets down with us, he puts his arm around us, he deals with us in the way that is just what we need. I know that's what I needed. 
was to just experience that gentleness of Jesus. And then I think that's what the world needs too. And I think the most challenging thing about this chapter, as much as I love reading about the heart of God and experiencing the grace of Jesus, I also know that there's a challenge for me too of what it means for me to deal gently like Jesus to others and how I need to be someone that experiences his gentleness and kindness over and over again to maybe even have like this much to be able to offer to others too. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your reading um, and have a great week.